All right, good morning, Marmots. It is Wednesday, May 12th of the year 2021. <clears throat> um, this date in the history, this date in history, I'm just gonna do a real quick one. Hopefully it doesn't, I know I don't ramble on like I normally do. But on this date back in 1949, so May 12th, 1949, the Soviet Union, that is uh, modern day Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and a bunch of those other smaller countries that are kind of border Russia. They used to be called the uh, USSR, or Union Socialist Soviet uh, Republic, or something like that. Um, but the Soviet Union is what they went by. Um, they lifted their 11 month blockade on West Berlin. Um, they had kind of blocked all entrances to the city. They were trying to take the entire uh, capital of Germany. <clears throat> um, after that was post World War II. Uh, post World War II is when the real side of Russia or Soviet Union came out. The communist tendency to seize, take over, and control. Um, and they uh, seized Berlin and built a wall at one point um, to separate West Berlin and East Berlin. Wouldn't allow people to go back and forth without uh, strict passport and monitoring but they, they blocked every entrance and wouldn't allow things in and out of Berlin for almost a year. Um, what ended up happening is there's a famous uh, uh, event called the Berlin Airlift. And that doesn't mean that we weren't, we weren't going in and pulling people out. We were sending in planes and we were dropping parachutes with crates of food and supplies to help these people in West Berlin uh, get through this while the diplomats and everybody else kind of worked through it. Um, so yeah, it, it's a really interesting time in um, world history. Uh, that's when the Cold War began and the Cold War went all the way from 1946 until basically 1990, 88, 88, I guess. 1987, 88 is when Reagan made that famous speech, you know, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. I've said that a hundred times this year. Um, and he's specifically talking about the Berlin Wall and, and that is when the dominoes started to fall and everything came into place and the Soviet Union collapsed and became, um, and there's a lot of things that led up to that. There's, there's so many other, other things in, in history that, that kind of led to the Soviet Union collapse and uh, disassembling and becoming, you know, back to Russia and, and so forth. So. That's mine. If you guys you know feel to share one, which I highly encourage it because I keep track of these things, uh, please do so. Uh, second on the agenda today is schedule. Some of you are getting confused on the schedule. All right. So the days of the week that you are here. If you are here on Monday, you are here on Mondays and Wednesdays. If you are here on Tuesday, you are here on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. It's either Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So as an example, this w last week, so last week, B Group was on Friday. So that means they're here Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. A Group would have been on Monday and Wednesday. This week, A Group was on Monday, Wednesday. Oh, so I just lied. A Group's Monday, Wednesday this week. So A Group was on Friday last week. See, even I'm... Even I'm getting a little confused. Uh, Stefante brought this up to me today because he's been having a heck of a time following the schedule and I'm just noting it on here. Um, this week is definitely, we've got a group here today. Uh, we're gonna, their, their, their last day of this week is today. Then we've got B group here tomorrow, 13th and the 14th for the early, early day, early release. And then next week, We've got B group here again on Monday. So they technically go to school three days in a row. They go Thursday, Friday, Monday. Then Tuesday it would be an A. Wednesday the 19th is a B. Thursday the 20th and Friday the 20th is A. And then the 24th is A again. So you see the pattern, I hope. So uh, I'll continue to remind you guys and, and support you. I know it's I know it's tough. I mean it's been kind of this way all year we'll get through it we're down to like the last what it's day 153 <laughs> we've got 27 days of school left guys so i mean we're we're on the very very fast track to being done with this business i mean we're gonna go visit uh, a lake next week uh one group is gonna go visit a lake and then 
the following week after that, y'all, we're, we're looking at releasing fish. So and that's going to be a two-day process. So, I mean, there's a lot. We're, we're busy, and there's a lot of things that we're going to be doing in, in school, but we're, we're close to the end, man. It's, it's kind of exciting. Um, summer school is an absolute go. I'm going to be reaching out to families this week, uh, parents, um, so they know for sure what and who I want in that program. There's gonna be a few junior high kids that are eighth graders coming in for ninth grade that'll be involved with that. Um, but I'm recommending several uh, high school students and some of your your uh, POs are gonna want you to be involved too. So uh, more of that to come in the future here soon. So look for it and don't forget to check in with me. Watch your CNN 10 and send me your emails. Let me know your mood and let me know what's going on. Um, and yeah, uh, hit it hard. Let's get some work remote. You remote workers, this is critical for you because this is when you're gonna get a lot of the final bits and pieces of the Odyssey where finished, you know? We're doing a lot of stuff in class that counts for, you know, your, your, your project-based learning, that fish project. That's a big deal, man. That's a, you're talking that's a half a year. And so a semester full of, of uh, information and things that we've been working on. So you're gonna be rewarded for that as long as you participated, did the interactive notebook, did your your fish report, your, uh, your presentation, which is today and tomorrow, and you're actively involved with, with everything we've done, which most of you have. So we've done a great job of that. So anyway, I'm gonna put a quick video up on FishTube today. I've got it recorded for Monday. I fed him and, and showed how crazy those guys get when we feed them. Uh, so check that out and comment on it. Uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, make sure to reach out to me. Let me know what you need, guys, okay? So we will see you A-Groupers here real soon. B-Groupers, see you tomorrow.